Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Primark haul. So I have already, oh, oh my gosh, I cannot get my words out. I have already filmed this intro, I've already filmed half of the haul and then I was kind of like, I need to give up, I can't do this. I am in so much pain at the moment, I don't know what I've done but I've really hurt my right foot and it is so bloody painful. Um, and I think the pain is just overriding everything else so I really need to go and take painkillers but I thought I'd persevere and get this haul done because I'm desperate for you guys to see what is in Primark at the moment. They have honestly blown all expectations out the water. The amount of stuff they have is just amazing. Like I cannot even explain how good it is. So if you haven't been in I would definitely recommend you go in and have a little look because they've got casual outfits, they've got day outfits, they've got night outfits, they've just, they've got so much, there's such a range and I picked up some really, really nice, exciting pieces today so hopefully you will like them. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to style the full outfit so from top to bottom including footwear but because of my foot I'm not able to get it in any kind of footwear <laughs> apart from elasticated trainers which isn't great because it doesn't go with half the stuff but I will basically just hold up the footwear and show you exactly how I would style it or just talk you through it and I'm sure you'll have your own style or your own kind of way of styling things and you'll be able to make that decision on your own but yeah without further ado let's get going okay so the first thing I am going to show you is this shirt Jess it is a tiered style smock with a shirt detail at the top so obviously it's collared it's got some buttons down the front of it this was a size 18 and it was 13 pounds it's got kind of puffy sleeves on it and the sleeves are elasticated so nice and comfortable the only thing was i picked this up in a size 18 and a size 20 and the size 20 did fit me but it still gaped at the buttonholes however the size 18 fits me but it gapes quite a lot at the buttonholes however there is another button on it and my plan is to kind of stitch up the parts where I feel could do with an extra stitch on them I felt like the size 20 was just too big on me because it is kind of oversized smocky style I just felt like the size 20 was just a bit too big and because I still am losing weight um, I didn't want to get something too oversized that I would need to throw, throw out in a couple of months so I thought something like this I always lose weight from my bust area first so hopefully through time with losing more weight I will lose from there but for me Primark is a hit or a miss with the bust situation I don't know about anybody else some stuff I can get fits absolutely perfectly other things I get are just at, like too too small so yeah I thought I would try this and just stitch up the extra places where I feel could do with it but I really really liked it I think for dressing up or dressing down with some biker boots or some nice sandals in the summertime would just be an absolutely amazing look and like I said you could wear this from day to night if you wanted I think with some nice statement jewellery, a nice bag, um, some ankle boots or even Chelsea boots would go really nice with it um, again like I said from day and tonight I think would be an amazing outfit so that was the first dress next item of clothing I got was this t-shirt which says always moving forward just a nice kind of plain dainty logo with a peplum bottom all cotton nice and soft some boxy t-shirt sleeves this was a large which is a size 14 to 16 and it was six pounds and I just thought to add to my wardrobe this would not go amiss with a pair of jeans and some trainers just for the spring summer days also just with a cardigan on at the moment I think would be really nice and I don't think you can ever have too much t-shirts so yeah I loved that one I think anybody who's been to Primark has this at the moment it is a nice fleecy lined let me see if you can see the fleece fleecy lined peplum jumper so at the bottom you can see the peplum, this is a kind of cottony material, I don't know if you can hear it, that kind of like hard material and up the top is a nice fleecy feeling, 
It's got, what would you say, three quarter length sleeves. I'd maybe say they're all the way down because I've got quite short sleeves, short sleeves, because I've got quite short arms, they probably will come down to about my wrist. Um, but it's in this lovely cream material. And again, I just thought it was thrown on with some jeans and a nice pair of trainers or some boots, just anything in general I think would be really nice. It looks like you've made a bit of an effort, although you haven't. If you just wanted that something extra to throw on whilst you were going out but you didn't want it to be too casual, I think it would be a really nice look. And yeah, this was size large, 14 to 16, and it was £10. And again, I just think it will see me through from winter into spring, summer, because we always need a bit of fleece, even in the summertime in Scotland. The next dress I got is this V-neck tiered smock. If you've watched my new look haul, you would know I am absolutely obsessed with tiered smock dresses at the moment. I think they are so flattering, so comfortable to wear, so versatile. You can dress them up or dress them down. When I seen this, I really liked it. I like the print on it. Um, like I said, it's got a v-neck, which I feel is quite flattering if you've got a bigger bust as well. It's got some ruffling on the upper arm. And then again, arm is full length. Yeah, full length and it's elasticated. And again, like I said, it's tiered smock. So you've got your waistband here, your first tiered smock there, and then obviously your second one at the bottom. Doesn't really do it justice up here, but I will show you it on. It's really, really nice. And again, dressed up or dressed down for a day out, date night, anything like that that you wanted with some tights and some boots, with some bare legs and some boots. Uh, you could even dress it down with some trainers if you were out and about with the kids. And yeah, I just really, really liked it. Size 16. These are generally oversized these particular ones so I would normally be a size 18 especially in this material because or this fabric because it's not elasticated at all but I went for a size 16 and it was 13 pounds and yeah I just think I'll get a lot of use out of that same dress but a different pattern this is leopard print this is not to everybody's taste and I understand that some will love it some will hate it but I just thought it was something nice and different apart from black, always in my wardrobe. Again, the exact same style v-neck, ruffles on the sleeves, long length, elasticated and two tiers at the bottom. Again, I think this was a size 16, 13 pounds and dressed down with some tights, some Chelsea boots or dressed up with, again, bare legs and some boots, army style. Again, you could wear trainers if you really wanted to dress it down. Yeah, absolutely love it. I know I'll get loads of wear out of this. I think, I don't know how it would look. It would look nice with a leather jacket. I don't know how it would look with a denim jacket, which is what I kind of had in mind, but I might not go. Next up was this top. It is, again, a peplum style, so comes quite high at the front, as you can see, and then all the way around. And then it kind of lowers itself at the back. It has some button detail. And these are almost like a kind of cork effect. The top itself is kind of like camely nude colour. With some white speckles on it. Again, full length sleeve. These are not elasticated cuffs. But I think they would be quite comfortable. I think this might even be a three quarter length. Yeah, three quarter length, but again, it comes down to my wrist because <laughs> I've got short arms. Um, this is a size 18 for 13 pounds. And I thought with the summer coming in, I do not own white jeans, I never have, but I am thinking about investing in a pair this summer. And I think this would go really nicely with a white pair of jeans, some black jeans, sandals, Again, just another versatile piece for spring, summer. Again, we don't always have the warmest weather in Scotland. So sometimes we do need a bit of length on our arms just to keep us warm. So I thought that would be really nice. But especially in the weather that it is just now, it's thin enough. It's not too thick. And I think it would be quite a comfortable piece to throw on and look like you're making a bit of an effort. 
I got another smock dress, tiered smock dress, would you believe? This was a size 18 and it was £8, which I think is really, really good. Um, it's kind of like a soft cotton material. Don't even know what you would call it. Um, again, a v-neck, black, and it's got tiered smock on it as well. Really, really nice. It's almost like a like oversized t-shirt, but I think it was really, really nice. Again, to dress down, to dress up, if you were going somewhere with just with a pair of boots and some tights, some trainers, some sandals, uh, Chelsea boots, army style boots, absolutely anything. I just think this is an amazing piece with some statement jewellery, some nice accessories, a little hairband possibly, and for £8, I just don't think you can complain about it at all. Really soft, really nice and comfortable, and I think I will get a lot of use out of this. The same dress, but in a khaki green colour. Again, this was a size 18 and it was £8. You might see this a bit better. Like I said, it is a khaki green colour, although it's not picking it up in the camera. Um, although this does feel stretchy. Maybe the other one's stretchy. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so they do have a little bit of stretch to them actually, which is nice and I never actually realised that when I purchased it. But again, another tiered smock, v-neck, t-shirt sleeves, khaki green is never a colour I normally go for. However, I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and they did have a kind of like peachy nudie colour in this dress, which I really, really liked. And I think if you had a tan, it might be really nice. But with my pale complexion, it just completely washed me out and yeah, I just did not suit it at all. So I thought I'd go for this one instead. And again, I just think I'll get loads of wear out of it. Again, with some tights just now, or even into the summer, springtime, bare legs, boots, bare legs trainers, bare legs and sandals. There's, there's just so many options. So again, I know I'll get loads of use out of this one. Same jumper as before, but this is an XL and it is £10. And it is in this lovely peachy corally colour. Again, the colour is just not picking it up on camera. But it's absolutely stunning. It's got peplum bottom again. Nice fleecy lined jumper. This was a size XL because I couldn't get the large. And it might be a little bit oversized, but I actually don't mind that to be honest. I think again just to chuck on with some jeans if I'm going out want to make a bit of an effort but not particularly bothered but don't want a hoodie kind of day does that make sense so yeah picked that one up couldn't leave it behind if i see it in the large i probably will pick it up um but i just thought it was a really really nice piece the next dress i got was a size 18 and it was 13 pounds and it is in this kind of rusty red color it looks really really red on the camera it is not that colour, it's very rusty looking. Um, I can't believe how red that's picking up. But yeah, it is this, again, a tiered dress, tiered hem dress with some big puffy sleeves. Again, the sleeves are elasticated. You gonna focus? Thank you. It's got a t-shirt style in the middle, high neck, and these sleeves are kind of like hard cotton material. And then the tiered style at the bottom is also the same material as the sleeves. These are really, really nice. Again, never really tried anything like this on in my, well, this colour on me because I don't know how well it would look. But when I tried it on in the shop, I really, really liked it. And again, I just think you could totally casual this down with some trainers or some boots. Probably... If it was warm enough, I would definitely style it with some trainers just to kind of dress it down. Or you could also dress it up with some boots and some sandals in the summer. Again, you could put a little belt on at the waist just to kind of send you in a bit. But yeah, I just think this is such a nice dress. It's so comfortable. I find it quite a flattering dress. I don't know if you guys will agree. But obviously, you can let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I just love the sleeves on it. Again, I think for 
barbecues in the summertime, the springtime when it does start getting a little bit warmer, you can possibly get your legs out um, to cover up your feet, but you've also got that little bit of warmth on your arms as well. And yeah, I definitely think this is a piece that I will be getting a lot of use out of. This next dress was size 18 and it was £13. And it is, what colour would you say? It's getting quite dark in here actually, I should put a light on. It's kind of like, I wouldn't say turquoise colour. Let's go for greeny. It's green, it's kind of between a mint and a khaki green colour with white polka dots. Again, you guessed it, it has the tiered hem detailing on it so it's got oh it's just got the waist and then another tier down below high neck normal box sleeves and yeah i absolutely love it size 18 13 pounds so comfortable spring summer coming in with some sandals some trainers a little belt to send you in it just reminded me of something like Out Pretty Woman and I just really, really loved it and I thought I have to have that. So I really liked it, very comfortable. Again, another piece that you can just throw on but it actually looks like you've made a bit of an effort. Um, so yeah, I think I'll get a lot of wear out of that as well. Nice and comfortable, cool and yeah, I cannot wait to style this. I'm so, so excited. The next item that I picked up and I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera is this black a-line skater style denim dress it is all denim there is no stretch in it whatsoever like i said it is black it has got these big puffy sleeves which i absolutely loved let me see if you can get it obviously you'll see these things better once they're on but big puffy sleeves again these are not elasticated are they no um, there's no buttons, so it's just a kind of cuff detail on the arm, high neck, and then it is secured with a button at the back. Then obviously you've got your waist and then your skater style at the bottom. It is a bit tight on the chest area, but again, I when I lose weight, I always lose weight from there, so I'm kind of hoping that I'll go down. But to be honest, I need a smaller bra anyway, so I'm like, well, maybe that'll look okay. But yeah, this was, oh, no, actually, I think the tag fell off of this. Give me one second. This was a size 18 and it was £15, which to be honest, I don't think is a bad price, especially for denim and Primark. And again, I think I'll get loads of wear out of it because it is denim, so you can wear it with tights in the winter. Coming in for the warmer weather as well, I think it would be nice. Again, if you just needed that heavier something on top with some trainers, some boots, I just get so excited. Cannot wait. So yeah, absolutely loved that. The other dress I picked up was exactly the same as the kind of auburn um rustic colour. Um is this dress again high neck kinny t-shirt material on top with the puffy sleeves. Puffs are definitely in this year, like 100 percent They are everywhere. Whatever shop you go to, you are guaranteed to find a puff sleeve. They are just smashing um so yeah this is the dress and i absolutely love it and again it was a size 18 and it was 13 pounds last but not least apologies about the lighting it has totally changed i've got my ring light on just went really dark really quick so yeah the last item i got was this top which is a peplum style top and it says hello bonjour and ciao Again, just a white logoed top. Again, I thought it would just be so nice with some jeans and some trainers. And that was exactly the same as a white top. Size large, which is 14 to 16, and it was six pounds. I've already had it on, so it is still a bit damp, but I will try it on for you anyway, just so that you can kind of get the gist and see what it looks like on. But again, just another plain t-shirt to add to the collection with some jeans and trainers. And last but not least, the kind of accessories that I got were three of these, oh, which I just dropped. Yeah, I got three of these, and this is a Minnie Mouse silicon straw 
Mickey Mouse silicone straw in a mini mouse. I thought I'd get one for myself and Sophia. And I will just show you what they've got in. So they have this little silicone mini mouse straw, which is really quite cool. Sophia absolutely loves hers. And then they have this little straw cleaner, which is really handy. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it goes all the way down and you can clean it, which is nice. And I just love the fact that I had these kind of little holders with them as well. So we can just keep them in my bag whenever we need them. The majority of the time, I always need a straw. I am just so fed up of these blooming paper straws that keep destroying themselves. So I thought I would grab three of them for myself, Derek and Sophia. Whether Derek uses his, I don't know, but they wear three pounds each. Next up, I got myself some nails. These are a coffin mat and they are in a kind of like, what color would you call them? Burgundy color? I don't know what color you would say. Um, but they were a pound and they come with glue as well. There's 24 of them, up to seven days wear. These were for an engagement party that I was meant to be at, but unfortunately I never made it because of my dodgy foot. So yeah, I've got them for another time. And then lastly, I grabbed two of these wipe off 100, I was gonna say 100%, PS 100 oval cosmetic pads, 100% cotton. They were 90p each and so handy for taking off your makeup with. And I actually really like the size of them, they're quite big. So I thought I'd grab two whilst I was in. So that is it for today's Primark haul, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I am definitely back into the swing of YouTube stuff and I really want to get some more videos up. So if you would like to see anything in particular, please leave a comment down below. Please remember, give me a big thumbs up. And yeah, I hope to see you all soon. Bye!